That's why I had four children. Good morning, guys, and happy Monday. Kids, can you say good morning? Good morning. What up? Good morning. George is the best big bro ever to the kids because he helps with them. Definitely. Oh, you think so? Was he the best? Sissy has an obsession with George. She just sure. loves him. Is he like a big teddy bear? Yeah. Yep. She feels so little around him. But I wanted to tell you guys a little story because yesterday I told you I was gonna tell you a story about George and Lewis, and I wasn't able to tell it. And so now I'm gonna tell you guys. And the story is years and years ago, George, how old were you when you met Lou? Seven, six, I'll say. Uh, six or seven. No, I was five. Oh, five, six, or seven. One of those. Five, six, or seven. Lou, how old were you when you met George? They're trying to figure out how long ago, but. So George had just turned seven. Oh, so it's like almost to your guys' anniversary. Exactly. George and I were supposed to, I went to the Big Brother Big Set. Okay, long story short, yeah. I decided one day that I wanted to do something more. I wanted to try to impact somebody's life in a negative way. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I looked up the Big Brother Big Sister organization in Arizona and I went and interviewed there and they did the whole background check. They th said it was gonna take like six weeks to do and the lady asked me, she said, Okay, well we can kind of go through some of the the kids that are, you know, on this list and then you could pick out which one's going to be, you know, closely uh, uh what was they, 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 credit, they wanted they, they wanted yeah, they us credit to meet you up in the criteria. They wanted to match us and she's like, "So, tell me about yourself like this match. Com. Yeah, tell me about yourself, you know, what do you like?" And I'm like, "You know, wait a minute. Hold on. You mentioned earlier, lady, that this was a long waiting list and that there wasn't enough big brothers." Who's been on the list the longest? And, and that's and my man, George. And, she, and she's like, I, I have the perfect, she's like, he's six, because at the time he was only six. Yeah. He's six years old, and I'm like, all right. That, she's like, are you okay with that? And I'm like, of course, I'm fine. She's like, he's, uh, you know, he's in Tempe, and really good kid. I'm like, let's set it up. And then a couple weeks later, she set up the, our first meeting together, but I think the day before that I was supposed to meet him, uh, my brother's uh, first child was born. Then the week after when we got back, that's when George and I met. And right. he had already turned seven at that point. Right. Because George's birthday is March 15th, which three is away. three days away. So it has been years of Big how Brother. Old, tw how old's Gavin, 12? Yeah, 12, he's 19. Yeah. 12 yeah. years, yeah. 12 years. And he was this, Tatum. Tatum. <laughs> I yell at him, he's right now. <laughs> Tatum, this was George. I gotta get Tatum. Now, Louie is the little I'm brother. The little brother. It's the roles are reversed. I went from being the big brother to the little brother now. I like it. It was difficult moving out here. Yeah. In 2008, it was really hard to move out here. And, I got this. And that was my. I guess the nearest thing to a regret, you know, as far as like. Having to leave George out there to fend for himself for high school, Through high you school, know, yeah. and now he's in college. So I have an evil plan though to get him out here. <laughs> George doesn't know, but George is moving out here. George is gonna be moving out here. He doesn't. Oh, mom, if you're watching this, I have no part of the whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> all I know is I'm out here till Sunday, and after that, I'm back at school Monday morning. I, that's all I know. I'm not a part of this. George, <laughs> if we gave you the opportunity to move out here. Would you take it? Yes or no? Because here's the thing, before you answer, yeah. if Nicole gets on the big brother. I'll be the big brother now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she'll be the big brother. <laughs> and so, I need somebody to help me vlog daily okay. and raise four kids. So, she's okay, so be let's, let's change yeah. this. Not move out here. What if you but what summer? if you stayed the summer out here? Oh. In the potential of, you know you're going back home. Because yeah. that's my thing. I think we would love for you to move out here. Honestly, we would love for you, you to move out here. Close to but for yeah. this time in your life, you have to be close to your mom and your sister. And I, that would be my biggest regret if I moved 
like that's my one regret in life yeah. is that I moved away from my family. Yeah. I wish I was in Arizona with my family. That's my only regret in life. So I could understand, but if there's an end and you know you're going home, staying the summer out here, even if and, I and if I get on Big Brother or she's not. She's going to. She's yeah, going to. You are. She's going But if I don't get on Big she's Brother. She's representing the YouTube vloggers <laughs> out there. She's but representing if I, the moms that are doing whatever it takes to. Milk mama. All the stars of the line, bro. All the stars of the line. George, if you moved out here for the summer, you would have a job. You would yeah, work with Louis stay. and. Mercedes, let him come out here. I need his help. Not just you need. Not just need his. Not just need his help, but we think this will be no, good for know, him too. I know, but I'm trying to yeah. angle to the mom where she's gonna let him come out here. Yeah, because my mommy heart would be like. Hell nah. My kids are staying with me. That's why I had four children. Because at least one of them will stay with me or stay like next door to me for the rest of my life. Who's gonna take oh, care of me when I get mom, older? Dude. Are you gonna take care of mom? You guys are off the hook. The twins would be like, <laughs> deuces mom. Who's? My bro guys, this is my bro. Yeah. Right here. 12 years, 12, 12 years. He's my 19 year old, 12 year old big brother. Yeah, big brother. That can care. <laughs> That is the story I wanted to share with you guys. We have never really talked about it on the vlog, but it was such a crucial point in Louis and George's life, and they both impacted each other's lives. And Louis has such a huge heart to say, screw the matching, pick the kid that's been on the, the list the longest. And look, years down the line, it couldn't have been more perfect. You guys, if you knew George and Louis together, it could not be a more perfect match. You can sit there and you can go through the interview process and you can say this is what I want in a big brother Or this is what I want in a little brother and at the end of the day Your wants may not be someone else's wants, but it's exactly what you needed in your life So just know if you're on here and you're looking for somebody Let's just say looking for a relationship and you're on match.com Just because your wants are different than someone else's doesn't mean that you're not compatible because I will tell you Louie and I are completely opposite people, but we're more in love than ever and we're the perfect match for each other Let's get this day started and let's go get some lunch. What? Look who I get to sit by. Oh big young I get to sit by this handsome little fella Me too. and this handsome little fella if it shows. There. There's my Tay Tay, my oldest, my youngest, and my my middles. My middles. <laughs> where are we gonna go eat? <laughs> I wonder where daddy's deciding. I wonder where we're ending up at. Red Robin. Oh, Yum. You guys are gonna get balloons. You've never oh. eaten at Red Robin. George has never put turn the thing on. It, it is on. on. It is George, on. It George is on. George has never even peeled an orange before. What? George, where George, have you been living? He's been living in Arizona, Arizona before. Oh, George, your life is about to be changed with these steak fries. I hear so many good things about steak fries, and they're bottomless too. So that's yep. Awesome. When the Bacas walk into the restaurant, they're like 40 or 50. We had everyone. Cassidy, do you love your Uncle George? Do you want him to come live with us for three months? No. No? no? Okay. <laughs> what are you thinking about, baby? I'm thinking about how blessed I am to have such a great family. And the great. great Tate job, the Great. Life. Lincoln. Mommy. Hi, mister. Why are you hitting me? Yeah, well, but you ask me nicely. You don't hit me, okay? Oh, she found the apple. Yeah, I found the apple right there. Camden, are you finding yours? Yeah? Dad got a chocolate shake. What? What? Hi. Yeah, that's just it. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> we are on the search for the funnel. Found it. Where? By the tiger. By the tiger? This is the giraffe. Oh, there it is, right there. There it is, 
the road no, right my, there. The funnel. George is awesome. George, what is your honest review of Red Robin? Thumbs up, thumbs down? Two thumbs up. Oh. Twenty minutes later. Guys, we're going into TJ Maxx. T -t 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 oh, we, oh, all right, everybody, get back in the car. We gotta go over to Home Goods. <laughs> Babe, it's way over there. Babe, show, show if they're connected. We are going to shop for Louis's office decor. He needs to finally get it decorated. Get it together. I hired this lady to decorate it, and uh, she hasn't really gotten back to me, so I'm just gonna bring her one. I used to do the same thing when I'd go with my mom to the store. I would hide, and then I'd pop out, and I'd be like, boo! Boo! Well, you rather toy to eat that? Yep. <laughs> There's my fine helper. When you get this huge frame <laughs> for the office. Well, we got two lamps and a crystal ball. That, that ought to fill up my office. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, Nick? <laughs> Show us what you got, Nick. Show us. Are you pretending to chew on your tongue? <laughs> oh, big boy. Big boy. Oh, bing, 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 bing. Oh, look at that. Good job, Lincoln. You're getting so big. Whoa. Look at him move. It was too tight to stand up just like that. I know. He sees you and he's like, I want to do what you do. Like this. Oh, that's what he wants to do? Lincoln. Yeah, <gasps> Mommy, guess that. What? When, when Daddy put Lincoln in his car and um, in his kid, they can stand up. She's so cute with him. Oh, 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 caught him. Caught him. Just in time. He got, he got over there. Thank you for sharing, Sissy. Oh, he loves it. <laughs> he doesn't know how to keep his hands closed. Link! Do you have a balloon? I gave her my balloon. Thank you. Lincoln. Oh, don't pop the balloon. He won't. Well, Lincoln, watch. Look at me. I can keep her hand closed. And you try to get it. Hey, you me. Two hours later. Mr. Lincoln just woke up from his nap. Mama is pilling some potatoes. Mm -hmm. She's the prettiest potato pillar that I've ever seen. Uncle George is hanging out with the twinsies. Yeah. And Tatum. Oh, no, that's Tatum. <laughs> There's Camden over there. Camden's opening the beans up. Camden's opening the beans, guys.